I came to hike the Jordan Trail because I wanted to know this country intimately. No tour bus or organized trip can ever compare to the kind of experience you have when you're walking across an entire country. The north of Jordan is so green and filled with history. We walk through ruins and past castles and through green forests and these beautiful fields. It has a very Mediterranean feel about it. And right from the start as a traveler, you are just embraced and fed and taken care of. The culture of hospitality in Jordan is ancient. Very quickly, my life took on a new rhythm. When you're walking like this, you're living outside, you follow the sun, you wake up with the sun, and you become intimate friends with your fellow hikers. Hiking through 2,000-year-old ruins became very normal for me. Every day gave me a deeper understanding of how life and civilization have prospered in this part of the world. There were moments where I felt like I was walking through the Bible, living scenes from 4,000 years ago. The Jordan Trail is not technically difficult, but you're dealing with serious mountains. What looks flat on the map is in fact one of the most mountainous places on Earth because you're dropping to below sea level, to the level of the Dead Sea, a thousand feet below sea level, and then climbing up over mountains that are thousands of feet above sea level. And the up and down can become really strenuous. After hiking the Three Wadis, which is considered the most difficult part of the hike, I felt very confident, very empowered, and I felt like I knew something about Jordan that even a lot of Jordanians don't know. I had seen the country like nobody else had. The real surprise of Jordan is that it's constantly changing. Every hour presents a new scene, and the things you encounter along the way are always just spectacular. The Jordan Trail is divided into eight sections, and the section from Dana to Petra is probably the most well-known and most popular, and for a good reason. This four to five day section takes you through some of the most colorful and picturesque scenery in the entire country. Whether you're a total novice or a very experienced hiker and climber, the Jordan Trail will always have its moments that will challenge you. It's part of the fun. Fine, you did it. The slow and purposeful entrance into Petra makes the World Heritage Site all the more exciting and spectacular because you get an emotional sense of what this place used to be like, what life was like for the traders, the camel caravans that traveled through the desert to this sprawling stone metropolis. Hiking through Petra after more than a month on the trail, I didn't feel like a tourist. I felt part of this place. <laughs> I became very comfortable with my life in the wilderness. I preferred it. I don't think I've ever felt the kind of peace that I felt on the Jordan Trail. People think the Middle East is flat and desert. It's not. It's mountains, it's canyons, it's, it's just beautiful, stunning. The further south we moved, the hotter it became, and the heat was definitely a challenge for me. I drank a lot of water each day. For one section, we brought a donkey with us to carry extra water in case we needed it, and you learn to appreciate the true value of water. It's absolutely spectacular. Like I would do it a thousand times over. It's beautiful, and it's different every day. They should hike the Jordan Trail because it's amazing, it's so beautiful and there's so much diversity. And you get to hike on sand, where else in the world can you hike in woods and forests, go down a canyon and then hike through sand. I'll never forget these people that I hiked with. Uh, we're lifelong friends now and there's a sense of accomplishment like no other. After 44 days and 400 miles, we ran into the Red Sea. The Jordan Trail accomplished, feeling happy and exhausted, and having lived the adventure of a lifetime.